So it's holidays again. And um, yes, I did wear a bat onesie to work today. mentioned before that we do a like Friday kind of dress up theme for some of the staff for the kids to guess and the theme uh, today was hoods and all my hoodies are in the wash so here I am as a bat. I'm also barely wearing any makeup and I've obviously been at work at day all day so we can deal with the pink flushed situation that my smudged face is right now. But yeah it's holidays so we have the time that we're gonna be vlogging again I guess. I don't know whether I'm gonna get up to much interesting this holidays. I haven't really got anything planned other than I do have a new bookshelf so I do need to put in all my books. I need to organize my new bookshelf um, but that's the only set plan I kind of have for the next two weeks at this point. But regardless you're gonna be along for the ride so <laughs> I've just finished a couple of books too. Uh, the Graces and well, I'm almost finished to learn my lesson because I fell down the smutty romance hole uh, recently. Uh, so it means I also don't know what I'm going to be reading over the next two weeks. I haven't figured that out yet either. So we will we will learn together what the two these two weeks hold. What? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we need this holiday. <laughs> You get that lovely glare coming through my window this morning, but I had a pretty chill weekend. I played video games, spent time with Nathan, watched Critical Role. We had brunch with Nathan's family, played Critical Role Munchkin, uh, and I did actually read a book. So I read uh, Tender Morsels by Margot Lanigan, which is a book that I was immediately recommended and was lent to me um, as soon as I mentioned that I really liked fairy tales. So that's all I knew going in, that this book must have something to do with fairy tales. But <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot. It was interesting for the fact of it wasn't until like almost a hundred pages in that it became evident what fairy tale it was actually taking um, influence from because there was just so much else going on. Uh, definitely warnings for incest, uh, sexual assault and bestiality. Uh, but it is essentially a loose retelling of the fairy tale uh, Rose Red and Snow White. Is the fairy tale uh, that it's taking influence from but yeah there's a there's a lot going on it is beautifully written I will say you can see my powder went everywhere you can see it in the air it is beautifully written I will say that for it and I do love fairy tale retellings of all kinds because it's always interesting to see what people do with them so it was interesting uh, it was just it was just a lot to the extent that like coming out the end of it I just don't know what to make of it. I just don't know what to make of it at this point. I, I think I need to sit on it for a bit and even then I'm not sure because oh boy, oh boy. I also just was um, a little uncomfortable with some of the things that happened obviously but also like the ending. So I don't know. Beautifully written fairy tale retellings are always interesting but there was a lot going on. This is very dark twisted book in many ways. Um, in terms of what I am doing this Monday, I do have some cleaning to do as well as uh, I want to start filling up and organizing my new bookshelves. So that's kind of the plans <laughs> for most of the day really. And then since it is Monday, that means that it is Monday movie night, which is basically Nathan and I's weekly date night in. Uh, so that's what will be happening tonight. I don't know what we're watching because uh, we've pretty much we've gone through Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is what we were watching every week. Uh, so now it's going to be one of those cases of trying to pick when the time comes. 
My makeup is always big, trust the process energy. But I don't think I have anything else to chatter on about, so I'll come back when it is done. Kind of messy today, but this has been a go-to kind of basic eye look recently. So now I need to go fix my hair because I just cut it and I need to tidy it and stupid. The problem we have here is that the natural light in this room, that comes into this room, is behind us uh, for the most part. So that's what we're working with here. Also, a testament to the fact uh, I often don't put my decorations away. This was still on my old bookshelf. Around the general, kind of general categories I tend to keep things. <laughs> the big task is going to be trying to organize them in some kind of way where they look all right. Especially since these shelves are like so tall. Yeah, but all the books are pretty much there. Other than the books that are on my other bookshelf because I do have a smaller white bookshelf in another room which has, which has a lot of my favorites and newer books that I've read. On okay, I think this will do for now. <laughs> I really like the top shelf, actually. Weirdly. Basically, my top shelves are pretty much all books from my childhood. And then we have my TBR shelves, essentially, books I haven't read. These, this shelf's pretty much novels that I have read that aren't on my other bookshelf, because a lot of them are on the other one. And then between this shelf and the one under it is pretty much mythology, history, and witchcraft. And then this little corner here has picture books. And then on this side, we have game guides, art books, and kind of general media stuff. That's, that's pretty much how it's organized. There the is my pretty new bookshelf. Today's outfit is brought to you by the people suggesting that a navy skater dress and boots is ugly because <laughs> I still love a good skater dress. I don't tell me that this is not a look. For context, there was some new adult book or something that described a character wearing a navy skater dress and boots and dark makeup and apparently um, that was an ugly and horrible outfit to describe someone in. So I changed because it's stream night and you know, I just I just like to be comfortable. So we've got, you know, the oversized jumper and the leggings uh, is um, what we have right now. I was trying to show you and realized how high my camera is today. Ha ha, leggings. Uh, yeah, I did finish another book though. So you're not getting any mid reading reactions because apparently I'm just consuming books because I started it last night and then finished it this morning because I wanted to know what the hell is happening because I read Ace of Spades which is I guess a YA thriller is the yeah it's like dark academia type of thing 
No, but basically there's this fancy private school um, and there are two black students at the school who uh, are getting kind of their secrets and stuff revealed by this anonymous texter. So it's kind of got Gossip Girl vibes, but more sinister. And yeah, it was really interesting and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and also, you know, a little bit thought provoking in some ways. And I can't really say too much without giving away the beats, uh, but also queer. So that was also nice. And yeah, I did, I did really enjoy that book. Uh, it's getting a lot of buzz at the moment and justified. It was a good read. today a filming day I guess so we'll see how that goes. Filmed some videos today and I had a bit of a spontaneous Dead by Daylight stream and had fun surviving with friends so fairly productive day overall really. <laughs> so I've just started reading Near the Bone which is a horror book that I bought this week and I'm already so mad at the abusive man in this book and I really hope that something horrible happens to him. <laughs> the blog here but I did finish a book on Friday night and I did pretty much read it all in one sitting so it has that going for it but uh Near the Bone by Christina Henry which is a horror novel. Manny can't remember a time before she and William lived alone on a mountain together she must never make him upset but when Maddie discovers the mutilated body of a fox in the woods she realizes that they're not alone after all there's something in the woods that wasn't there before something that makes strange cries in the night something with sharp teeth and claws when three strangers appear on the mountaintop looking for the creature in the woods, Maddie knows their presence will anger William. Terrible things happen when William is angry. I have kind of mixed feelings about this book, but that's on me more so than the book itself for the most part, I feel. First of all, this is the second Christina Henry book that has just left me with so many unanswered questions by the end because you can't make such a big deal out about not knowing what's going on with a family member and then not mention it again before the book ends. That was frustrating. And there were a couple of other unanswered things like where the hell it came from and that kind of stuff. Uh, it depends. <laughs> but that's a, a personal thing of how much you need things to be wrapped up in a book like this. Like I'm, I'm fine with like, open endings to an extent, but just when you make a big deal about something and then don't resolve it by the end, that's a bit frustrating. But my major issue with, with this is, again, it's not an issue with the book, it's just my personal feelings of, I think I really need to stop reading things, or at least only expose myself to them very rarely, are uh, things that have to do with men assaulting women, essentially. Because I feel like it's just getting more and more difficult for me to read, especially because I've read a few things recently that just happened to contain uh, elements like that and with this one it's kind of my own fault in reading it now because I suspected there would be an element like that but the direction this book took actually made it so much worse <sighs> so that's yeah that's more of a personal thing of I need to read less about that kind of stuff because I'm struggling with it and there's too much out there but uh, on that note, if anyone has recommendations for horror books that do not contain any kind of sexual assault or anything like that, please tell me because it seems to be like a really common thing amongst horror in general. So yeah, if you have any recommendations that don't contain that but are horror, please let me know because I love horror overall but I don't know, it's just there's an oversaturation of those kind of themes in media and along with real life like it's just too much for me at the moment it's just too much for me at the moment so 
that's why I feel I feel a bit yucky coming out of this because of that which worked well in the like it worked well in this book because it was a big part of the horror but yeah just on a personal level was struggling with it a little bit even if the, you know even if the horrible men do get what they deserve and what's coming to them which at, at least this book <laughs> the book had that going for it but yeah there were two major horror elements in this one was the awful man but I really enjoyed the other element which was the creature horror element um, and I really enjoyed all of that stuff and it felt very much like a horror movie in the best of ways. So other than the unanswered <laughs> questions, overall I think this book was well done. I just struggled with it a bit, yeah, personally, because I don't know, it's been coming up so much and in different genres. Again, I expected it a bit in this knowing that there was probably going to be some kind of abusive man in it going in. But like what, I've read a fantasy book recently and I've also read a romance and not no and I had no idea going into those that it was going to feature that kind of stuff like why I know that it's such like it happens in real life way too much but that's exactly why I kind of want to escape a bit in media <laughs> I just I'm struggling I'm struggling with assault of women um too much of it too much of it I was <laughs> that was this book Creature element was cool and atmosphere was cool and it was interesting to learn exactly what was going on it was just yeah I just feel yucky I just feel yucky because I've read too much of it recently kind of unintentionally so yeah 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 I know there wasn't really an update over the weekend either but I basically went shopping and had breakfast with Nathan and we had like a big family dinner whoa the sun has just come to attack me um and we had a <laughs> a dinner with a bunch of his family yesterday and hello son um that was my weekend i'm gonna have to put the blinds down and yeah i played dbd with the girls um as i do in some respect or another most weekends and oh i also hung out in a streamer's community night on Saturday night which was also fun. So that's the, the first week of my holidays done and dusted, organised my bookshelves, read three books and just uh, mostly just chilled at home. I only left my house a few times. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Please give me horror book recommendations without the assault of women. Um, would love that, would love that and yeah I'll, I'll catch you next time I guess. TT Fan and Stars, yeah. <laughs>